Hey guys, it's uh, well, the YouTuber that you subscribe to. No, uh, it's Fidget Digit here, and today, March 4th, is actually my birthday, so I have uh, something new to show you, but before I can show you that, I do, and I am making a new layout. I haven't really shown it yet, but how it's going to work is uh, it's going to have a double track main with 22 radius on the outside. 18 on the inside. It's gonna have some tracks up in there. It's not even finished yet, so I have to go get some more track. But I'm still working on it. But uh, that's kind of it. But the thing I want to show you is I think it's really cool. So this old sucky thing. Not really. It's not bad, but it's a starter. It's still gonna be putting it up for sale on eBay. So yeah. Um, but anyway, I got a new controller. And uh, you guys might have heard of it. Is the NCE Power Cab? Yay! Woohoo! Excitement! <clears throat> it's a very good uh, system. It's bright on the camera. Um, we're gonna. I'm not gonna say like all the specific details and stuff like that. But um, hold on, I'm gonna position my camera here. But basically, uh, I'm not going to say like uh, CVs and uh, setup and stuff like that because I'm not exactly sure about it. I'm sure about one thing or a few couple things. It does have all 28 functions. You have to set the option. I do know you have to set the option button to uh, like 122 or something. But j just don't listen to me on this, please. Otherwise, you might learn something. Consult the manual, the reference manual over there. That's what I did. It looks long. But it's all the important stuff is in the beginning for setup. Uh, I don't know how to set the clock. I'll figure that out later. Um, I know for a fact it's after four o'clock. Anyway, uh, but if I'm going to select local number one because that's what the Burke will set to on my DC, on my Bachman controller. And you don't need to press like zero, do zero 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 one or whatever. You just press enter, and you can see it's zero zero one. Now I'm going to hit the headlight button, and see, as you can see it turned on, it's three. So yeah, it works, it works. I really like this, and I haven't even had it for that long. I opened it this morning, then had to go to school, so I've been using it for about 35 minutes altogether today. But uh, I'm going to set number logo number one to logo number 2718, which is the road name, road number for this. So I'm going to go to select loco. Oh, frick. No, never mind. Ah, what? Enter. Okay, no. Screw it. Sorry. Uh, why can I not forget to remember this? Oh, I'm going to go to setup, I think. Nope. Okay, there we go. Uh, mm, oh, so stupid. Go to. I'm gonna go to program. If it will program escape, click that. Program on the main. Now some people have like a, a program track designated like off their layout, but I don't at the moment. So I'm gonna do program on the main. Press enter. For the. Pr Programming local number one. Frick. Oops. Yeah, okay, so I pressed and I chose local number one because that's what this is set to right now. I press enter, then it will show up the screen. Long address is four, the short address is three. This is obviously four. Frick, my notification, sorry about that. So I'm going to press long one, which I did, and I got to long address. Now I'm going to do 2718, press enter, and there you go, just if you heard it, just direct forward like it's supposed to. Now we can try the bell, and uh, there you go, it's programmed to 2718 now. That was just a little tutorial on that. Oh, I should probably show you the all 28 functions. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, 
I, ch I set the option button like it said in the manual. F10 through F19, F20 through F28. And back down. Frick it off. Frick. Come on. Uh, yeah. So that, that's it. There we go. Uh, I don't think this is the right speed steps. Maybe it is. I got 28 speed step. It's probably supposed to be 128, but it has a uh, speed set. Knob can just move. Uh, it has a designated horn, bell, and headlight. Horn, whistle, same thing. Uh, but you can also. Headlight on off. But one. And headlight on off is zero. So, I mean, it's just a little more convenient because you're going to be up here with the speed and all that stuff. But, yeah. Um. Oh, setup. Setup was easier, kind of, once I get, get, get the hang of it. Also, cause if you're not really, if you're easily confused like I kind of was at the beginning or you just need to be extra careful check the manual I'm just going to say that check the manual look at these pictures that uh, look at the pictures it says everything you need to know about setup here too I my, I ordered this from train world I put well, I'll see if I can put a link in the description to train world um, but right here these are this is Atlas code 83 track for HO scale and I got the Atlas Code 83 Terminal Rail Joiners, so it's basically just rail joiners with wires so I can wire my layout. Obviously this is not finished, so I would have holes drilled. This would be in the wood. But uh, because of the move, it's now not as high as it would have been. But basically right here, you got those the terminal rail joiners. The power to an outside source, which is right over there. I know this is messy, I'm sorry. But there's a little black piece, and that's right. Uh, there, that's what I'm touching. Uh, it goes into, as you can see right there, power cord right there. Now, I cannot stress this enough. If there's an LED light right here, as you can see, it's red. It should be on, this means it's the bottom. If it's upside, this is upside down. Uh, I've seen videos. Oh, God. Frick. <sighs> I broke my rail connection. It's still there it's fine but uh yeah that's that is that is the right way with the led on the bottom then there's this is the, the it comes with this cable it's coiled this flat cable connects to this use the flat cable this is not meant to, to connect to this, this to the track it also it has to connect to the left side it, the right side is for extra throttles at the moment, I do not have one. It does, but these wires come with it by default for an extra throttle. Uh, they're pro they're not that expensive, I don't think. Could be pretty cheap, pretty expensive. I don't know, but I'll buy one when I see fit. Probably when I finish the second main. But yeah, uh, oh, you also need a very tiny flathead screwdriver for those. If you can see those two silver dots type thing, those are flathead screws. I don't have one, so now I have tweezers not as efficient but they technically work that's basically i should probably rewire the track and test out a few more things but yeah uh this is a good system i like it a lot all 28 functions and uh yeah try to make more videos i'm out